Hi everyone, welcome to Beam Guru. In this particular video, we'll discuss about system browsers, what are the uses of system browser, and how we can use them uh, while you know uh, working on a project. So first of all, uh, let me brief you about system browser, and then we'll for uh, we'll, we'll see the practical situation how we can use it. So first of all, uh, there are two different scenarios may happen with you. Is that first one you want to cross verify that how many elements are unassigned in your project those are not properly connected or uh, uh, you know connections are properly made or something like that in that scenario you can use system browser so that you can rectify each and every element those are unassigned okay those are not connected properly those are like systems are not defined for them properly something like that the second case may happen uh, is that maybe there are a lot of elements those are you know uh, randomly placed in the project something like that so in that scenario as well you can uh, rectify those floating elements and you can cross verify those are needed in the project or not if needed you can uh, assign the proper system uh, with them or if those are not needed you can delete them as well so both the scenario uh, may happen with you okay so uh, in both the cases you can use system browser that's best tool uh, to use and drive it in just seconds you can rectify each and every elements those are unassigned or those are assigned in uh, different uh, options or something like that so let's discuss so right now what i did is that i have created some random elements like mechanical air terminals for supply or return i have created some mechanical equipment as well i have placed i do not know how many quantities are right there something like that i just placed i did not connect uh, a single connection as of now so we'll we'll, we'll see how uh, system browser will rectify them and uh, give us the the the, the input uh, uh, in terms of connections and something like that the second thing i have created four spaces uh, but I, I know that which one is space one two three or four something like that but i'm not telling as of now we'll rectify each and everything from uh, system browser second thing is that i have created one zone uh, by combining two spaces the same thing will will rectify from system browser and the third thing is that there is a default zone of Revit so that's this is the thing so right now uh, what is inside this one a number of elements uh, a number of spaces a number of zones maybe okay so we'll rectify by the system browser so I'll go and view tab right here click on user interface click on system browser okay so right now I can see there are 44 unassigned elements in the model uh, nobody is assigned for mechanical system. No, no element is assigned for piping. No element is assigned for electrical system as well. We'll rectify how we can see them. Okay. The second thing about uh, this particular tab right here. So there are four options: systems, zones, analytical systems, and analytical power distribution. We are not going with analytical things as of now because our key focus uh, will always will be on the systems and zones only. So we'll discuss about zones and systems uh, and specifically systems because systems are the key thing for a project. Okay. So uh, let me discuss about zones first, and then we'll come on the systems part because zones are very simpler uh, and uh, very short time it will take so we'll discuss about zones first now as i uh, told you at the beginning that i have created one zone something like that so i have created my zone one right here so if i'll select the zone one it will be shown right there okay now if i'll click on this particular one i can see space one and space two are assigned for zone one so i can see that particular thing right here in this particular zone for default zone also i can see my space 3 and space 4 so that's how we can rectify where my spaces and zones are first of all now the second thing i want to know uh, the area or volume or something like that so what i'll do i'll just click on this column setting option right here i'll add the parameters whatever i needed i want to check the area for each and every space i want to check the volume for each and every space and uh, uh, I wanted to go for number of people those will be assigned for the particular space or something like that so I'll go with these parameters okay you, you can add multiple options right there if you want to cross check with that one so as I clicked I can see that my space 3 volume uh, uh, space 3 area is 491 meter square something like that the volume is right there the number of people uh, that can be you know come inside the particular room those are defined right there perfect i can add multiple options as well if i want like uh, i want to go with mechanical tab right here i want to cross check my uh, heating temperature cooling temperature for this particular room something like that it will show me those ones as well 
So I guess you you got the picture how we can use this system browser for your zoning for especially HVC zoning. Right now I'm I'm just showing you uh, the, the the picture for HVC zoning as well. But right now let's come with the systems. Systems are a very critical point for a project, whether you are mechanical guy, electrical guy, or piping guy. Okay. Now uh, right now I can see there are uh, 44 unassigned element. Unassigned means those are not defined for a particular system because we are in system tab right so those are not assigned with uh, either in mechanical piping or electrical okay so let's discuss how come it is and we can resolve the things if i'll click on unassigned each and every element will be okay i did not click on that yeah each and every element will be uh, under either mechanical piping or electrical uh, in unassigned category but not in proper system how come it is because those uh, for example, let me show you this particular A terminal. Okay, uh, if I'll select this one, it come uh, inside mechanical. Why? Uh, why it is so? Because we all know that each and every element has its connector, right? This particular uh, written diffuser has written uh, air connector with it. If I'll go inside the family, uh, we can say that there will be a duct connector that is written air duct connector, right? That is why uh, based on that connector, it will define. Uh, the air categories if i'll select the 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 hu right now it is selected uh, for all these mechanical piping electrical category why come it is h is the part of hvc right it should come in mechanical no uh, actually if you'll see the hu if i'll show you in 3d uh, it has multiple connectors right whether uh, it is written air duct whether it is supplier duct so based on that one if i'll click on this plus icon right here it'll show me written air and supplier that is why it is coming uh, inside the mechanical tab because hu has written air connection and supplier connection okay now if i'll select this um, uh, why come uh, why, why it is coming in piping tab because there are two options for piping chill water piping connection sanitary connection right if i'll uh, if i'll click on this plus icon right here uh, it will show me that hu has uh, the the chilled water connection that is coming uh, under others and the one is for sanitary that is why it is, it is coming under piping tab okay if i'll if i'll um, select the hu again why it is coming uh, inside uh, electrical tab because it has power connection that is power connection yeah you can see right here if i'll uh, click on this one you can see the power connection is also right there that is why it is coming inside this particular one now you can see the hus are right there three hus are right there because in my model I have placed three HUs. Okay, so right now uh, the same thing for piping as well, and same thing for sanitary as well because I did not create any uh, different uh, plumbing fixture for this particular project as of now. If otherwise, it will show the the another plumbing fixtures as well if I have created for the piping connections. Okay, but right now uh, I have inside the proper model is that. Uh, only HUs has the piping connectors. That is why it is showing me right here three uh, elements inside the piping connectors. But uh, beyond than that, if we'll see, uh, my three HUs are in space four, space three, and space two. At the beginning, if I'll show you, uh, let me so again. If I'll select this one, it'll show me in return air, supply air and space 4 correct you can see space 4 space 4 so now this is my space space 4 as i have selected this one you can see it's it's highlighted in blue color right it is selected right there if i'll select this particular one right here as well it'll show me the same thing if i click on this written air uh what we can say tab you can see right here it is showing the space for do not uh, go the another one because as my mouse is moving it is show me like that way so do not get confused with that one okay so it will show me that where my elements element is and uh, how many connectors are unassigned or how many are assigned for example for this particular hu i want to connect um, i want to remove this supply air connection okay it is coming under supplier as well correct i want to remove this one how i can remove this one it is right now in unassigned right and nothing we are having in mechanical tab right now let's see so if I'll select this particular A terminal right here, this is the supplier, click on duct, supplier duct, click on the uh, select the equipment, I'll select the equipment, my system is defined. Now if we'll see, I define my system, now under supply air, I can see my AHU and my system right there. And, and inside the system, I can see my diffuser as well. And parallelly, you can see the, the, the space name, that's space 4, we are under space 4. We can see the pressure drop and 
a lot of parameters. The same thing we can add the parameters right there, whether it's piping, uh, mechanical, or something like that. Whatever you wanted to add, you can add from right there. So I'm not going with the parameters thing. Uh, the, the, the key focus should be that how we can show that uh, which are the connectors are done or not. So let me connect it properly and then we'll see uh, how it is affecting the unassigned column right there. Okay, so uh, what I'll do is that I already connected right, uh, I already defined the system tab. So I'll select the system, I'll click on generate layout right here, and there are multiple options as we discussed earlier in my previous video. So I'll go in 3D. Let me check, let me uh, you know, reset a little bit. So I'll go with 2850, branch will be 2850. Perfect, okay, and I'm fine with it. I'll just connect. Why it is not showing because I have applied the section box. So if I'll remove it, yeah, flag stack. Why it is not showing because the graphical thing only we have already properly connected. So if you will not move it, that's fine. But uh, for your understanding, I'll show you. Yeah, you can see yeah, the flag stack is right there. It's graphical thing. Okay, so do not need to worry about that one. Uh, so we have connected connected the proper connection for this particular HU and this particular A terminal for both the elements so uh, at the beginning our total elements were 44 right now it will be 42 because our two elements are reduced one is HU one is uh, the, the the what we can say uh, A terminal but 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 there is one thing the HU will not be properly removed from unassigned category why come it is because uh, let me show you if I'll click on this particular HU it will show me under written air first of all under piping tab under lactical tab why it is show because we know that a lactical uh, sorry uh, the hu has uh, uh, supply air connection return air connection lactical connection piping connection so if we are not completing each and every system for this particular hu it will not be uh, removed from unassigned category fine but if i select this particular uh, a terminal it is totally uh, removed from uh, this unassigned category okay now it is in uh, system tab mechanical system tab so that is how we can use our system browser to rectify and to connect each and every connections uh, those are needed so i hope you got the idea about system browser thanks a lot guys for watching this video let's meet in my next video